Tutorial 24 is for closed eyes which are really pretty but they are a little bit more complicated. If you're a complete beginner you will may struggle with this one a little bit more. I'll show you the eye. So it's like that effect. It's, I think it gives a really happy effect um, to the bunny. It's a bit of a girly, girly looking eye. Um, I'll show you how to do it. Now you can either, as the pattern says, make four or five small stitches in a semicircle like so so we're aiming for that shape but i'll show you a trick which makes it a little bit easier let's go to a close-up now again i've threaded um the needle with quite a long strand make sure you've got enough to do both of your eyes knotted it in the end and as before we're going to go in through a gap and out i'm showing it again just in case you haven't watched some of the other videos and we're going five rounds back one two three four five this time we're going to start probably here, just a little bit further in than we have on the other eyes because the eye is going to go outward. So we're just going to pull it like so, let the knot go inside. And you can either do, so if, like the pattern says, four or five small stitches, um, so just one after another, or a little bit of a cheap method to do it, a bit easier, is to get the shape that you want. I am for maybe around four, four stitches wide but going up one or two rounds so you're going for a shape like that but finishing a bit higher than the original eye so I'm going to finish my eye here have a look what it looks like on there what you're aiming for so that is a little bit higher one or two rounds higher and maybe around four stitches across but feel free to make them as big as you want so we're going to just use a loop of wool and then we're going to come back up bit higher just underneath where you want the strand to finish so just underneath where where your loop is where you want that to be like so so we're making a loop but then we're catching it here and we're going to catch it into shape so we're going to do a couple of little eyelashes I do one there and one there and then we do another one just across here so we're going to use this thread which is just catching it in position here and coming out here so a couple of little eyelashes just with quite a small space between them as you can see we've used that to hold the loop in place and then we're going to go in back down here next to the other one and then we're going to come out right at the end so exactly on the end there i'll move that out of the way so we're not catching the thread so we've done a loop and two little eyelashes i'll pull it a little bit tighter so that it's a small eyelash if you leave it quite loose uh, we'll end up with quite a big thick eyelash i'm just going to pull that to pull that a little bit tighter because I want those to look like quite small, delicate eyelashes. And the last eyelash I'm going to do across. So horizontally like that, just quite a small one. Here. And then I'll bring my needle out where I want my other inner eye to start. So we're looking at keeping it level on the same round. And where we want the middle to be. So these are a little bit closer together than previous ones. Because you're working outwards. And that's the eye. Look at that. I think that looks really pretty. So watch the video again. Oh, I will want to. So this one, one, two. So you're two rounds higher and about three or four across. So one, we'll do the same on this side. One, two. And probably a good few stitches across. And then we're going out back up here to catch it. But so it's quite tricky to get the other one the same so you may have to redo this a couple of times that looks not too bad actually so we're going to go for two little lashes again one going one way and one the other so we're going to go in where we want this lash to be and up again where we, the end of the lash will be so each stitch is just getting it in the right position i'm going to go underneath like that and hold it up so it's in the nice loop stay like nice loop shape and then we're going to come out again at the very end of our eye 
It's got two little loops, two little eyelashes there. And then we're just going to do that one. It's just around a stitch long, quite a small one. And again, horizontal, so it's level around here. And I'll just come up somewhere else. Now, it's very difficult to get it right first time, so these could look a little bit different. They're slightly different with the eyelashes. So what I would normally do is pull that back and redo that one. But look at that. I think that's really getting really pretty. She looks, she looks like she's... Joyful, <laughs> that's the word. I'll just show you how to pull it back in case you just want to pull it out. You can pull back by just using the back of your needle, undo those stitches, try and catch the full thread rather than splitting it. I'm just going to undo those stitches so you can see how to redo it if you weren't happy with it. I'm just going to use the back of my needle just to undo that. Pull it out and we can pull back as far as you're not happy with. I just think they're not quite level as there we go. So we're back to where we were now. And we can just carry on and finish our eye. It's just worth redoing it as many times as needed to get the correct look. I think with that one, I think I just angled them slightly different. So let's see, so that one's I think they're a little bit too far apart as well. That's a bit better around there and here. And a bit starting from a similar point. So they're going to go in a little bit closer. I think I'd had too big a gap. Back out here again. Oh, there we go. I'll just pull that one a bit. And by pulling on this one, it will pull the other one a little bit tighter. It's a bit big and then we're going to do a horizontal stitch again come out a little bit further away now oh, look at that i think she just makes her look so happy happy and joyful bunny so play around until you're happy with the eyes at the match and the eyelashes match and when you're happy with her we're going to do the same as before Go back in through the same gap we've just come out of. We're doing this between stitches. And then come out a few stitches away. And that way you can't see the black thread. Go quite deep as well. Don't go just under the surface. We're digging right into the stuffing so that we can't see the black thread across there. Pull it taut. Snip it off. And there she is. I'll finish. Look at those little eyes. Let's have a look at her. Ah, look. Very sweet. So in our next videos, we're going to be showing you how to do the tail. And we've got a couple of different tail options. So we're going to show you both. And then we'll be doing the bow. We're nearly finished. We're not far off. So bye for now.